I'm getting my sweat on today with a 25 mile bike ride. So we're here in the Hollywood Hills. Never biked here before, but so far it looks really scenic. It was on several lists of best bike routes in LA. So we'll see if that checks out. Look at the Hollywood sign. for this fitness weight loss journey I read a lot of articles about goal setting and weight loss and basically one thing that everyone mentions is rewarding yourself which I'm happy to do since I've been making pretty good progress and I'm really actually like really happy with how things are coming along. I've decided to reward myself with some bike accessories and I'm really just excited to show you what I've got because I really scoured the internet for the cutest accessories I could find. So hopefully you like them too. First of course is the essential cruisy cup. So many of my bike rides are coffee runs so I just I had to get it. And plus I wanted pink to match the accents of the bike. An LED light for a tail light for the back of your bike. It's really cute. This is the light. It's a little heart so it goes it goes on your seat post, but I'll have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. This is something I saw on Pinterest. I'm just going to DIY it. So it's a little vase. It's just like a vinyl plastic vase. I'm going to find a way to attach it to the handlebars using like a rubber band or hair tie or something. This is the one I'm most excited for. It's, it says children's bicycle, <laughs> but I thought it was cute, so I got it. It is a little piggy light. It's a little pig that just attaches to your handlebars. Here it is. I am definitely going for a maximalist style. I like it. <laughs> It's super cute. I love the pig. Oh, it even has a horn. I forgot my bell. There's my handlebar. My bike is totally accessorized now and I think it really reflects my personality. But I realized that one thing I haven't mentioned yet is the name of my bike. And if you're in the peddlers group, you know that the name of your bike is a big deal. So I've named my bike Mr. Peanut Butter, which is a Bojack reference. He's just a lovable, happy guy. And those are the moods or emotions I associate with riding my bike. So Mr. Peanut Butter it is. But if you haven't <laughs> seen the peddlers group, a lot of first time posters are always asking, what should I name my bike? It's a huge deal. And if you have the app, you can actually name your bike, all of your bikes if you have multiple bikes. So Mr. Peanut Butter it is, totally accessorized. Those were my rewards for, the accessories were my rewards for like my progress thus far. But for this last week, I really wanted to go all out and get a matching outfit for my bike rides. So this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> my reward for working out. It's from Free People, so this is a skirt. actually has the bike shorts connected, which I thought was pretty neat. And you can see that I've color coordinated to match my bike. And that's actually why I chose this bike because I thought it was a cute color combo. But honestly, all of our e-bikes come in really cute colors and you can really pick anything that fits your personality or your style. So we're here, we're going to bike the LA River bike path. We're near Griffith Park. And I think today we're gonna just go for a 40 minute bike ride. Since it's the last week of my fitness journey, I wanted to do something fun for one of my last rides. And I thought I'd get the whole team involved. Uh, 
Uh, this is something I saw online, not exactly what we're gonna do, but something similar. I thought we would try it out. It's on my summer bucket list. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy it. Are you guys ready? Let's yeah. do this. All right. We're going Mario Kart racing. Okay, last weigh-in. Last week I was 112.5, I think around there. So two pounds to go, which has been what I've been doing weekly. So fingers crossed. To start, I was 120.6. So moment of truth. Let's see. We've reached the end of my six week fitness journey and it was a success. I've lost just about 10 pounds, which was my goal. Here is my before picture. And here is my after. I know it's not a huge difference, it's only 10 pounds, but to me it feels like a big difference. So I'm really happy with my progress. And I just wanna tell you that if you are trying to lose weight or get in shape with an e-bike, it's definitely doable. Some of my takeaways or tips for you if you wanna embark on a similar fitness journey are to remember that consistency is key. The first couple of weeks were challenging, just getting in the routine of getting my bike out, especially going from not working out at all. But after that second week, it got a lot easier. And honestly, after each bike ride, you feel so good having been outside, having gotten your endorphins up and your heart rate up. It just feels good after a bike ride and it's a little addicting. And then another thing that I learned from actually the spin class that I took on the beach is to really engage your core, be mindful of your core as you're riding and make sure that you're keeping it engaged and to incorporate intervals. Those two things I think really helped boost my calorie burn and that's when I saw actually on my watch, I would burn a lot more calories per 30 minute ride than I was before when I was just kind of pushing myself at a regular pace. In addition to the weight loss, riding my bike more frequently has just made a huge difference in my mood and energy levels. I feel great after a bike ride and it lasts throughout the day. My energy has been higher than it's been, I think, in the past two years. It just feels so good to go out on a bike ride, get outside in the sun and feel the breeze. It's a feeling that can't be beat. I also have to say thank you so much to everyone who's watched and followed along. Seeing your positive comments and seeing people encouraging me and seeing that other people could relate to what I was going through was really helpful and it gave me that push to keep going. It was really encouraging. And I hope that I'll be, this journey will be encouraging to someone else who wants to try the same thing. So thank you for watching. If you're wondering, should I ride my bike? Should I ride my e-bike? Yes, definitely go for a bike ride right now. And don't forget to join our peddlers group for more inspirational stories. We have some peddlers who are riding over a hundred miles a week. And it's just amazing to see what some of these people are capable of. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Thanks for following along. Don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.